Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, next week's ANN AEA Live webcast schedule announced. Also, Magnix unveils two new optimized for flight electric propulsion units and B-29 duck arrival delayed. Happy Friday, you survived the work week. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We got a packed episode ahead of the weekend, so let's go ahead and start with next week's ANN AEA live webcast schedule announced. One of ANN's best weeks of the year happens when we gather the crew together to cover all things avionics at the annual Aircraft Electronics Association Convention and Trade Show. ANN, in a 12-year-long partnership with AEA, is pleased to announce the schedule for the upcoming 2021 AEA Convention and Trade Show to be held in Dallas, Texas, from June 22nd until the 25th, in what will be our record-setting 12th live online programming initiative. Better yet, this programming will also be shared via our worldwide syndication network, as well as our highly successful presence on both Roku and Amazon's Fire TV. The highlight of this programming will be the exciting new product introductions program. The new product introduction session is one of the most popular events every year during the convention and has evolved into a must-see showcase for members and the media. The live schedule is as follows. Tuesday, June 22nd, 8.30 to noon, opening ceremony and new product introductions. Then on Wednesday, 1 p.m. until 4 p.m., live interviews from the AEA 2021 convention floor. And on Thursday, June 24th, from noon until 3, live interviews from the convention floor. You can see everything live at the website you see on your screen. After the break, Walmart invests in a drone company. I'll tell you which one and why after these messages. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Hello, pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Walmart invests in DroneUp. CEO and president of Walmart's U.S. business, John Ferner, has confirmed that they have invested in DroneUp. Last year, we partnered with DroneUp, a nationwide drone services provider, to launch trial deliveries for at-home COVID-19 self-collection kits. The trial demonstrated we could offer customers delivery in minutes versus hours. Now, after safely completing hundreds of drone deliveries from Walmart stores, we're making an investment in DroneUp to continue our work towards developing a scalable last-mile delivery solution. Rocket Lab awarded contract to design a twin spacecraft for Mars. Rocket Lab has been awarded a contract to design two photon spacecraft for a scientific mission to Mars. The Escape and Plasma Acceleration and Dynamics Explorers mission, led by Rob Lillis at the University of California, Berkeley Space Sciences Laboratory, is a twin spacecraft science mission that will orbit two spacecraft around Mars to understand the structure, composition, variability, and dynamics of Mars. Unique hybrid magnetosphere. HAI supports notice to Airmen Improvement Act of 2021. 
Helicopter Association International has applauded the U.S. House of Representatives for approving H.R. 1262, the Notice to Airmen Improvement Act of 2021. HAI supports this bill to enhance aviation safety by improving the accuracy of information included in FAA NOTAMs. The legislation requires that the FAA establish a task force to recommend improvements for its pilot alert system. NOTAMs provide safety critical flight information to individuals involved with flight operations and are delivered through a pilot alert system. NASA SpaceX Crew-3 Launch and Return Updated NASA SpaceX Crew-3 mission now is targeting launch no earlier than Sunday, October 31st, with NASA astronaut Rajeshari, Tom Marshburn, and Kayla Barron, and ESA astronaut Matthias Murrier. Crew-3 will launch on a Crew Dragon spacecraft from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida to begin a six-month science mission at the space station. Crew-3 astronauts will arrive at the space station for a short handover period with the Crew-2 astronauts and over crew members on Expedition 66. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Magnix unveils two new optimized for flight electric propulsion units. Magnix has unveiled the Magni 350 and Magni 650 electric propulsion units, the latest advancements of the company's EPU product offerings. Based on thousands of ground test and flight hours, these EPUs have been optimized for real-world commercial aviation applications to further accelerate the path to certification of electric aircraft. Over the past few decades, Magnix has been powering commercial-grade electric aircraft such as the eBeaver and the eCaravan. Using key learnings from these ongoing flights and ground testing, Magnix has introduced a series of enhanced features to enable an even more simplified, reliable, and convenient adoption of all electric power. The 450 SHP Magni 350 EPU and the larger 850 SHP Magni 650 EPU share flight proven solutions and common core architecture and utilize the new high performance Magni Drive 100, a 170 kilowatt inverter motor controller power electronics unit. Operating at 2300 RPM or less, the direct drive EPUs are liquid cooled and designed for 30,000 feet of altitude in unpressurized environments. Both systems can drive a propeller governor and standard aircraft accessories, all from the front cone of each motor. After these messages, B-29 duck arrival delayed. I'll tell you why after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. The arrival of B-29 Duck in Hastings for the Nebraska State Fly-In has been delayed due to maintenance. The B-29 Duck flight experience ride scheduled for Saturday morning at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. have been rescheduled. 4, 7 p.m. and 8, 15 p.m. the same day. There will be no changes to the schedule on Sunday, June 20th. 
A minor maintenance item on one of our Warbirds propellers has led to our delayed departure from Wichita this week, said John Wells, B-29 Duck General Manager and Executive Director. We take great pride in the care and maintenance of our aircraft and we felt it was necessary to work the propeller maintenance item before leaving for Hastings and the remainder of our busy summer tour schedule. B-29 Dock Flight Experience rides on Sunday, June 20th will be at 9 a.m. and at 10.30 a.m., followed by ground and cockpit tours of the historic Warbird during the airshow portion of the fly-in on Sunday. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. And feel free to comment with story ideas or just to say hi. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.